Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marvel Jar channel, and in today's video I will share some of the tools that I like best to create outlines for research papers or writing assignments. So I recently did a video discussing how to organize a research paper or writing assignment, and in it I talked about how crucial it is to outline your paper before you start writing. But what are the best tools for outlining? In this video, I'm going to cover four that I like, Microsoft Word, Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Carbon Fins Outliner app. <clears throat> so as an example, I'm going to use this outline for an 8 to 12 page paper. I think it's important to put as much detail as you can into your outline, including the quotes, references, examples you're going to use to back up your points or arguments. So my outlines are more than just a skeleton of topics. You can see that I even have the URLs for references and studies in there. The first two outlining tools are standard word processors, so you'll make your outline and then you will begin to write your paper within that outline. The latter two tools create reference outlines, so you make an outline and then you refer to it as you write. So first let's talk about Microsoft Word. So I have to admit, I very rarely use Microsoft Word anymore. I've moved away from software-based computing to cloud-based computing, so I mostly use Google Docs for word processing now. But that said, Word has some particularly good features for outlining, ones that I really wish were available in Google Docs. So I'm going to create a new Word document and paste in my outline. It doesn't look like much here. The magic starts to happen when I apply styles. So I'm going to make all of my first level topics heading one and my second level topics heading two. If you do this in outline view, which you can get to through the view menu, you can see the outline starts to form. Plus, in outline view, you can change the outline level just by tabbing to decrease um, or shift tabbing to increase, or actually that's the other way around. You can also get rid of the formatting if you think it's distracting and filter by heading level to show only certain levels of your outline. You can also double click these plus signs to collapse and expand your sec sections. If you're not in outline view, applying heading styles appears to only change the appearance of these lines, but in fact, you are building your outline hierarchy. So look at this, if I hover over this heading, I get a little arrow. By clicking on this arrow, I can make the entire section collapse under it. I love this since my outline is so complicated that it's hard to get a big picture view of my paper. By collapsing all of the top level headings, I can see the bones of my paper much more easily. I usually choose to put in second level headings as well. That way I can also collapse those sections. If I use Microsoft Word for outlining, I can write my paper directly into the outline, either in outline view or regular view, and then collapse those paragraphs underneath the respective headings as I go. It helps to navigate through a long document and to see the structure of my paper and the arguments that I'm making more clearly. But again, this is Microsoft Word, which I don't use that much. So, so now let's look at Google Docs. So Google Docs does not allow you to collapse the text under headings, but it does have some outlining capabilities that help with navigating and big picture organization. So I'm going to paste my outline into this new Google Docs document. You can see that if I start to apply the style heading one to this section, the text changes, but I do not get an arrow for collapsing like I did in Word. So if I start writing directly into the document and I have 12 pages, the outline gets all spread out into my paper and I can't really use it for navigating. However, Google Docs does have this handy little tab over here to the left that allows you to show document outline. So if you don't see this, you're going to go into the view menu and make sure show document outline is checked. You can see now that I applied heading one style to all of the top level headings and they are showing up in my outline over here. This allows me to see the big picture and I can use it to navigate through my document. I generally like to see at least two or three levels down into my document so I will apply heading two to this level and so forth. I tend to apply styles using the keyboard shortcuts rather than the mouse but you'll have to figure out what works best for you. Once I apply all the heading styles, I get a nice full view of the structure of my paper, which I can use for navigating almost like a table of contents. This comes in handy when you're dealing with a paper that's over 10 pages, so you don't have to scroll and scroll and scroll. Plus, I can always hide the outline if I need the screen space for things like answering comments. I've started using this for most of the papers that I write. Okay, so these first two tools, we're just using some of the features of your word processing software to help you outline, and then you would write directly into your outline. These next two tools create an outline that you're going to use for reference as you write. Google Sheets. So if you watch some of my other videos on writing papers, you may know that I keep my citations and references in a Google spreadsheet. 
I find it easy to store my sources on one tab and all the quotes and citations from those sources on another that references back to the original source. You can also use a Google spreadsheet to create an outline. The key here is to use each column as a different level of your outline. All of your top level sections are listed in the first column, second level goes in the second column, and so on. You can hide the rows under a heading manually, but as long as you don't allow your rows to wrap, the outline stays more concise than it looked in a word processing document. Wrapping the lines looks like this, not wrapped looks like this. Much more compact, right? So obviously you wouldn't start to write your paper directly into the spreadsheet, plus it's not as easy to add and delete rows, but it's not a bad way to construct an outline to use as reference for reference as you write your paper, particularly if your references are already stored in the spreadsheet. And lastly, the Carbon Fin Outliner iOS app. So the last tool that I use with some regularity is the Outliner iOS app slash website. Unfortunately, I do not think it is compatible with Android yet. It was important to me to have an app that synced with a website so that I had access to it both on my iPad and on my computer. With Outliner, you create an account and it syncs your outlines between your devices. I also like that you can collapse sections to see the big picture of your outline. So this is not meant to be a full tutorial of the Outliner app. I'm going to do a video on that soon. But basically, you create an outline. You add headings or subheadings or however many levels to your outline through these buttons up here. You can also choose to decrease or increase the level once you've added it. So you're going to use these arrows to the left of the line to collapse the section. Each line also has room for a note so that you can store web addresses or other references. Um, in order to ensure that this is available on your iPad and on your computer, you'll have to sync it or on the website save it. Um, and I found that I will build the outline on my iPad and refer to that while I am writing on my computer. But I will also bring up the Outliner website on my computer so that I can cut and paste quotations or websites directly from that as I'm writing. And that's it. These are the outline tools that I have used, Microsoft Word, Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Outliner. But let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated, and thanks for watching.